Video Productions presents from Bell Garden, California, the Bicycle Club Invitational. I'm Bill and Cadona, along with Buddy Hall. Buddy, there's three remaining players in the tournament. Mike Siegel is the only undefeated player in the tournament. The other two players in the tournament are C.J. Wiley and Kim Davenport. Now, C.J. Wiley just concluded a match with Mike Siegel where he lost by only one game, 12 games to 13. It was a very exciting match, and I myself feel that C.J. Wiley should have won the match. Mike Siegel can consider himself very fortunate to have gone away with the win. But in the meantime, he's just come off of a closely and sharply contested match to face Kim Davenport here in the semifinals. Kim Davenport is the fresher of the two. C.J. Wiley seems to be a little more worn because of the match he played against Siegel. I kind of get the edge to, a little bit of the edge to uh, Davenport here. I do too. When he broke the balls in, in, in game number one, the ball didn't open up at all. It just seemed like there was no action on the break at all, and he hit him rather solidly. Uh, it looks like he hit the one ball square enough to get good, to, to get good uh, action, but uh, he certainly didn't. No, he came up dry. But he's he got a shot. Well, he didn't come up dry either. He made a ball on the break. He has a shot at the one. The two's in a little bit of an awkward spot. Ah, he played right to the end rail. I, myself, I would have played into the eight ball, trying to trying to clear the four. Well, if he could have played into the eight to push the eight to the bottom cushion, that would have probably alleviated the problem with the four somewhat. Uh, he didn't do that. Now he's going to have to be. He's going to be facing that problem a little later here, off the uh, off the three. And from the three to the four may be a problem for Davenport in this rack. Well, he's playing to the corner, and uh, he's, he's overhead it. He's overhead it. I see what he was trying to do. He was trying to play a little to the outside of the three so he could come down the left hand side or the right hand side. Looks like he's, he can draw straight into the. Uh, he may be able to pass the nine. He may be able to draw past the nine. Looks like he was having to go into the into the nine, which he did obviously go into the nine. Now he's uh, hooked himself behind the eight. Well, he, he tried to play a safety behind the nine with the two, and it didn't, really didn't work out for him. C.J. Wally at the table. C.J.'s really uh, determined to win this match, <coughs> especially after, after that real close match with Siegel that he thought he should have won. He wants to have one more shot at Mike Siegel, and the only way to get there is to go to through Kim Davenport. Pretty good wall to go through. Yes, it is, and where he positioned the cue ball certainly doesn't suggest to me that <laughs> he was really that conscious of it. Because how can you position the cue ball on the bottom, on the side cushion, leaving yourself this type of a shot on the seven? This is uh, not the type of pull that uh, I would like to play. And well, he was able to pocket the seven. Yet had to roll it softly and pocket it, and that's exactly what he's done. Difficult shot. He seemed to have handled it though, hitting it a little bit roughly, but he had a very difficult shot. Game number one goes to CJ Wiley, who leads in the match by the score of one game to zero. <coughs> <coughs>
CJ failed to pocket a ball. It looks like he left a little bit of a gap there. Looks like he can go right through him. I, I guess about the only thing to do here is just hit and stick. Hoping to hook him behind the six. <coughs> Which he's overhit it. He was hoping to hit the four. It appears to me that he played a little unlucky on that shot, buddy. You know, the chances of him hitting the four were pretty good. And, uh... Watch out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chances of him hitting the four playing that safety were pretty good. He didn't hit the four. The one ball went down table, back up table toward the cue ball, and left the shot up for TJ, which he pocketed it off the five. He may have to go right at the five here. Oh, he passed it. Leaving himself in perfect line for the six. CJ looks like he loosened up that match with Siegel. Mike uh, may have got him a little bit in stroke here. You know, for the, camera. You know the, the match against Siegel had of a helped him because he just played on the table and he, he really probably uh, isn't as intimidated playing he Davenport. Ooh. He isn't as intimidated playing Davenport as, as he was playing Siegel and plus he's now adjusted to the pressure out there. You know, shouldn't, he shouldn't be under any pressure at all right now. You know he should be he should be if anything angry looking to get even. He's playing good. All right, game number two goes to Wiley, who now leads in the match by the score of two games to zero. Okay, once again, uh, coming up dry on the break. The players in the in the last match, Mike Siegel and C.J. Wiley, they went through a a stretch where neither player was able to pocket the ball on the break. What was that whistle? It sounded like a siren. shot. Okay, this time he was <coughs> able to successfully play a good safety, hiding the cue ball or positioning the cue ball behind the seven. CJ, now he gets to go in directly into the one, trying to figure out where he has to hit to get the best action. Very alertly, Kim played the ball behind it. Yeah, it's a pretty good shot just to recognize when it comes up. CJ almost, I started to say, kicked it in. Okay, uh, now Davenport has a decision to make. He has a few shots. He can cut the one in. Position of the two is near the three, down this end of the table to the left of the three. Or he can play a combination on the one nine, and that's kind of like a high risk shot. Well, if he cut the one in, can he hold the cue ball? Why wouldn't he Put just position. cut the one in, play the cue ball two rails out? Can he hold the cue ball if he cuts the one in? Oh, oh he hit it too thickly. He and, sure did. And uh, by by hitting it as thickly as he did, he wasn't able to avoid contacting the, I believe it was the five ball. Oh, he billiarded the two in, wasn't it? No, it was, I believe it was another ball, the five, I'm not sure. 
Oh, no, it wasn't the five. It must have been the four. He billiard the four in the pocket. Now, the six is in the center of the table, the five in front of the side. He would like to draw back slightly, giving himself a nice angle on the five to get on the bottom side of the six. That's the side of the six favoring us, where we're looking at the monitor. That way, he can just draw straight across or back t for the seven. He doesn't want to come back too far now, about uh, about 10 or 12 inches. That's, and that's perfect. Yeah, that's ideal there. Now he'll just go cross table for the eight. Game number three, it appears to go to Davenport's way. It appears that it is, it is going to go to Davenport's way. And now he trails the match by one game at two games to one. I like the setup they have here at the Bicycle Club. Uh, they have the bleachers drawn in for the final match. They have the, the blue curtain, okay, around the playing area. They put down a very plush green rug for the players to walk on. The television cameras are in place. And tonight, during the finals, the atmosphere is going to be filled with electricity tonight. There's going to be probably five or 600 people here in this small room, and it's going to be just about as perfectly situated and, and set that you can possibly have it. I'm really impressed with I'm really impressed with the way the bicycle club really goes out of their way to accommodate the pool players. They've really worked very hard. And I for one really appreciate it. Well, I'm sure they uh, are grateful and appreciative too of your appreciation. Marsha, Bob Turner, the owner of the place. George they Hardy. All, yeah, George Hardy, I'm sorry. They've all really worked hard at taking care of the players. Gave everybody a jacket. Gave them all two comp meal tickets. Well, how come I didn't get a jacket? And I didn't get a comp meal ticket. Did you play in a tournament? No, but what the heck, I'm here, you know, and, you know. I believe you could probably get one, Bill. I think so. <laughs> is there any? Are, are there? Is there an option in colors? Are there, what do they have? Black. 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 Just black. Black. You like where he pushed to there, Bill? I don't think he can do much from where he, where he pushed to. You know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what he has in mind. I don't either. Maybe just bump it to the rail and float on past it a little. It leaves him absolutely nothing. I can see no advantage shot here. 